Run, big boy. Oh, God is good, right? All the time. All the time. God is good. Oh, but that's saying, let's talk about it. <clears throat> let's examine all gods. Because when you make that statement, ultimately, that statement is being made by all, by all adherents, all believers, all followers of a specific faith. There's one that is known to use it the most, maybe, I don't know, exclusively. Of course, Christians. And possibly even Baptists, specifically. Possibly even Black Baptists, even more specifically. God is good all the time. But yet, times aren't always good all the time. And it's in those times that it is blamed on Satan or Lucifer or someone other than God. Or God is excused for the bad times. God is excused for the pain and suffering because everything happens for a reason. Or well, really something. Well, shit, we just went damned anyway, you know, because I'm two motherfuckers way back when. What is in those times that we... That Believers have to come up with something. Some can point to a book, but it's something. But it's still, at times, it really takes a lot of belief, doesn't it? I mean, really. It really takes a lot of belief to believe in most gods or all gods. A belief says, hey, okay, I will believe you in spite of, in spite of the pain and and." In spite of the suffering, in spite of the fact that um, you have punished us, I'm still going to believe in you and trust you and love you. <clears throat> but it may be, even be a disconnect, we talk specifically with Christians, between God and Jesus, the God of the Old Testament, that and Jesus. Because it is Jesus that has spoken of the most than his father, yes? They all give all praise to Jesus, not the father. But it's ultimately the father that is saving, right? If I send the vessel, if I send the life raft, if I send the boat, do you worship the boat or do you worship the sender? That's a question. Hell, even the captain of the boat. If the boat only be, only came because of one specific person, the one person who knew, who knew of your need for help, there was only one, and he said, "Hey, here you go. Come to safety." Even he says, "Captain, this is where you need to go." It's not the captain, it's the one who sent it. The captain got the directions behind the very person who sent them. He said, this is where you need to go specifically. So, okay, so <clears throat> there's that after the still, the acceptance. Whereas, the belief in truth as God requires what? The belief, it requires a belief in truth. It requires a belief that truth is greater than everything. And even for some, that means that truth is greater than their God. It will require that my saying truth is God. It will require you dropping the belief in your God and coming to my God and believing in it. What will get you there? Is it not truth? It is true. For a fact, it is truth. If you are one of truth. Otherwise, if it's not truth, then it's belief. Or it's faith. It's lies at times. It's purpose, purposely. It's a lie if it's purposely told. Knowing that the truth is other than. Then it is a lie. Otherwise, it's just ignorance. It's just a belief. Yes? That's all you have. You have belief and you have lies. Yes? And you have truth. Truth, belief, and lies. 
So, God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. And what would God do? It would be truth. It is, it is truth that, it's truth that guides you. And I will say it again. It guides you. But you don't let it guide you fully. You don't let it take control. You don't let the captain take control of the ship. But the captain is only taking you where you know who told the captain to go. This is where you need to go specifically. This is what you need to do. And he can only tell him by way of truth. So even if you don't believe the truth is God, it's only by way of truth that the salvation comes. Otherwise, it's just belief. But belief isn't greater than truth, yes? So it's only by way of truth. And if you're going to believe, then it has to be a belief in truth. Because you know it's there. You know it's there. 